Skidoo has tons of sizzle moving into model year 2019. However, among the biggest news is the arrival of the all new 600R engine, purpose built to slide into the revolutionary G4 chassis. No matter how you look at the Snowmo biz and the percentage of sales per OEM, when the numbers are tallied, the 600cc engine segment, including trail, crossover, touring, utility, and deep snow, is still the most popular engine of choice. Skidoo has built a huge number of Series 3 600 semi-direct injected and then E-Tech direct injected engines since 2004. The Series 3 engine was durable, in fact, among the most durable engines Rotax has ever produced. However, as time marched on, two realities became apparent. First, the Series 3 engine was getting long in the tooth, no longer leading in 600 class performance. And secondly, there was no way the Series 3 motor was going to fit in the G4 chassis. Skidoo's product plan since the early 00s has been to install as many different displacement motors as possible into as few chassis variants as practical. The archetypical Skidoo snowmobile is defined by motor and track variations using the same bulkhead and basic bodywork. This is smart from just about every perspective, including controlling costs, preserving profitability, and simplifying manufacturing. Knowing these realities, when we saw the G4850, our first question for Skidoo was, when are you gonna put a 600 in it? The new G4 chassis is so radically different from the former XS and XP platform as a result of Skidoo's move to center weight both front to rear and side to side as well. The new 850 G4 engine is very narrow in the cases, using a never seen before compact flat stator required to shoehorn the engine into the sled's bulkhead. On top of the physical size restrictions of the all new G4 chassis, there was still the need for Skidoo to one-up their 600-class competitors with improved performance from a new 600 engine. The new 600R power plant succeeds in both categories, presenting a very narrow profile with an internal starter ring gear and rationalized physical dimensions. The new motor also sends the competition back to the drawing board to look for more power. While Skidoo only claims about a five horsepower improvement over the Series 3 engine, Throttle response at the engine speeds you use most when riding trails is up a substantial 30%. The REV chassis in the 600R MXZX is virtually identical to the now familiar G4850 in all its variants, including the Renegade. Just for the record, there are no G4s with 120-inch tracks. The G4 platform carries a full-on R-Motion skid, and for the record, this is the best ride in the biz with the exception of the new Pro CC from Polaris, which now appears worthy of similar praise. Up front, there's Skidoo's RAS AA Arm IFS designed specifically for the far, far forward rider orientation the G4 demands. While ride quality from the RAS setup is good, we still feel handling is somewhat twitchy. Skidoo crows a lot about the G4's ergonomics, and while we're okay with this flat top seat, we do think this adjustable bar riser should be standard on every G4 variant. For us, it's a non-negotiable. The G4 chassis uses a first ever for Skidoo cast aluminum bulkhead. The move to this stiffer design replacing the XS XP riveted aluminum bulkhead is welcome. The old design was vulnerable to bending while the new cast piece is anvil tough. The G4's tunnel is unique in the industry right now, built from two sandwiched aluminum pieces to form a fully integrated heat exchanger without the use of extruded coolers. It's a slick innovation. How does she go? Skidoo clearly delivered the goods with the new 600R engine. No Skidoo 600 owner will mistake the improvement in power from engagement to full whack. It's fast. Those faithful Skidoo owners who've been drooling for the G4 600 will find the new chassis both familiar and different at the same time. Handling is even more precise and a little edgy with the G4 and the rider's perch will feel further forward than on any previous rev. This sensation of being on top of the spindles requires some adjustment. This is why we feel the adjustable handlebar riser is important. You can get yourself seated more comfortably with less adjustment time by trying both forward and rearward riser positions. When equipped with a decent windshield, the new leaner bodywork is every bit as warm as the former XS. One area we're not convinced is as warm are these open footrests. 
Skidoo has moved the bar in the 600 class with the intro of the new G4 Rev 600R. We are impressed again by Skidoo's voracious dedication to producing the best quality sleds in the industry while innovating new ideas which continue to position the brand as the leader in the snowmo biz. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the like button and then subscribe to Snowtracks TV's YouTube channel that's constantly being updated with fresh content.